Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2020 general readings. We are looking at the first two weeks of September from the 1st through the 15th. This reading is for the earth sign of Capricorn. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all sane and safe and healthy and continue to be that way. Always a note of appreciation for all that you do and have continued to do in support of this channel. Liking, sharing, subscribing, donations, support, feedback, comments, all of that. Thank you so much. It is all welcome and always appreciated. So this reading is for the earth sign of Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising. If your Venus is in Capricorn or if you are cross watching for a Capricorn, it's all relevant. Uh, but of course, being a general reading, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone watching in both the specific I can say it, specifics and intensity. So if you know all of your signs, watch them all. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, because it can provide, you know, each thing, each sign can provide a different perspective to create a bigger picture um, of what's going on in your life to help you kind of navigate forward. So watch them all if you can. If the readings do resonate with you, if any of them do and you'd like to reach out uh, for a personal reading, you can click on the description link below, click on the little arrow, you'll see some contact details there. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. Uh, I can usually respond within the first, within the same day or the first 24 hours and booking the actual reading scheduling is done in a pretty timely fashion too. Uh, I do readings full time, it's all that I do, so I'm pretty diligent about working with everyone's schedules and my own to get those personal readings set up as quickly as possible. So email me if you're interested, I'd be happy to hear from you. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what the first two weeks of September have in store for you. For those of you who need to know, Capricorn, or want to know, I am using Legacy of the Divine Tarot, and if I need to clarify, I'll be using the Gilded Tarot Royale. Okay, Capricorn, we begin with your energy, King of Coins, Taurus Virgo Capricorn followed by the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, followed by the Four of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy for the first half of September is the Two of Wands. <clears throat> so it's clear to me, Capricorn, that there is conflict within a situation um, and disappointment, loss, regret, disappointment, conflict. It, it's it like, and it's over something that there's been conflict on before, like circular arguments, which is, you know, the five of wands is the source of the conflict. It can be somewhat petty, circular, nobody winning, nobody losing, nobody backing down. It just going on and on and on and on, uh, which clarifies the king of coins, your energy. It could be another earth sign or somebody who manifests like the king of coins, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's some, <clears throat> so I, I keep getting this sense of arguing, circular arguments, arguing over the same old thing over and over and over again, disappointment over the same thing and conflict over that. So <clears throat> we have the five of cups. So we have two fives here. Fives usually represent conflict, which of course represents an opportunity to change. You have two of them here. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, of grief, of disappointment, of regret. There's still something there to be salvaged. You still have two upright cups, but three of them have been shattered. And uh, beneath that we have the Four of Swords, which is taking a step back from the conflict, particularly mentally, in order to rest, recuperate, gain a different perspective, figure out what you're going to do, which makes sense because the overall energy is the Two of Wands. So twos usually represent a crossroads, duality, choices. So, I, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's very simple and clear. Well, the situation itself might not be simple, but it's coming up pretty clearly that there is a conflict. I feel like, I mean, for some of you, it might be within a group of people. There are a group of people here in the Five of Wands. Uh, but I do feel for some of you, it's an, argu it's an argument. It's an old argument with a specific person, perhaps someone that you're in re a romantic relationship with. But it could be, you know, any kind of relationship. It could be a work situation as well. But being in 
conflict and argument with one other specific person is what I'm picking up for the majority of you. Let's take a look at what the source of that conflict is. Tell me about the Five of Wands. betrayed. You feel like somebody kicked you in the teeth or threw you under the bus or vice versa. It could be the other person that feels that way, but I think it's more you. Um, yeah, feeling really betrayed or you know, stabbed in the back somehow. What's behind that? Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. of coins. Is that the three or the eight? No, it's the three of coins and the world. So that ten of swords, that feeling betrayed, is about the three of coins or pentacles and the world. You know what, you know what I think this is? Capricorn this looks like you had an agreement with someone. Because the source of the betrayal, first of all, is the Three of Coins. The Three of Coins are the Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork. It's about compromise, negotiation, teamwork, collaboration. It's about two people or a small group of people who agree on a certain outcome, a certain goal, a certain course of action. And they work together with their own individual talents and ideas and all of that kind of stuff in order to make that happen. So, and then the world, which is about successful achievement and moving on to the next phase. And here's where the betrayal is, is coming from. It, 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 it feels like, Capricorn, you had an agreement with someone. Let's, for example, take a romantic, someone you're in a romantic relationship with. Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, etc. You had an agreement, like a goal, something you wanted to accomplish. You were working towards something. You know something in your future you, you both and you both made agreements that you were each going to do what each of you was responsible to do in order to move towards this successful completion and moving on to the next phase whatever that is for you and it didn't come to pass and you're feeling like like this like the ten of swords now the three of coins can represent that somebody didn't fulfill their end of the agreement and it can also represent that what you were hoping to build to, what you agreed to build together what you have had agreed to build together was something fairly concrete maybe you're you know a young couple and you're working towards you know there's certain you, there's a vision you have of where you want to be a year from now five years from now ten years from now and you had sort of this plan and this was your your responsibility your part of the plan and this was their part of the plan, and somebody dropped the ball here. You're working towards something concrete. Maybe it's, you know, going from being unemployed to getting a job and saving this amount of money, or going from an apartment to a home, or, you know, it could be a variety of different things or a combination of all of those things. But somebody dropped the ball, and you're feeling really betrayed. I mean, now the agreement could be about anything, really. The Three of Coins is about something fairly concrete. But it, it could be, you know, on a, on an, a, a more emotional level. Um, but you made an agreement and the other person didn't fulfill their end of the agreement or hasn't to this date. And that's where this regret and loss and bitterness is. All is not lost. I mean, you still have two cups upright and full. But for the time being, you're like, you're feeling kind of overwhelmed with this. You're just tired. Not necessarily done because it looks like you're still trying to make a decision about what to do, but you're just like, you're tired. It's overwhelming. You're shouldering more of something than you should. So let's Okay. Let's pull some advice and guidance cards. I wanted to make sure I didn't get my decks mi mixed up. Advice and guidance for Capricorn on how best to navigate through this. The 
the Knight of Swords, a conversation needs to be had. Justice. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, so assuming that you're not, assuming that you don't make the decision to just end the situation completely and walk away from it, it looks like an, an advice, advice and guidance from from spirit is that a conversation needs to be had, um, and and I feel like there needs to be perhaps not an ultimatum, but perhaps an ultimatum, you know, that look, we, we were on this path and this is what you agreed to. And this is what I agreed to. And this is what needs to happen because justice in the upright is about contracts and negotiations being fulfilled in a righteous, upright, honorable, ethical way. It's a card that represents doing the right thing, being honorable and ethical and, you know, choosing the, the right path, having things be karmically, karmically equitable and fair and then the nine of wands which is you know struggle through it's it's being close to the completion of a cycle but feeling discouraged and depressed but still being willing to push through that um, kind of like the 11th hour it's darkest before dawn kind of energy so a conversation there needs to be a communication exchange here and it needs to be made clear that you know if you're willing to re-enter into another agreement that it needs to be you know this is what I'm responsible for this is what I'm responsible for and as long as you uphold your end of the bargain I'm willing to push through this and spirit is encouraging you to do that as long as that is fulfilled if it's not fulfilled then there is nothing wrong with your leaving an agreement in which you have done your part of it but they haven't you gave them a chance they still didn't it's time to walk away um, so it looks like that conversation needs to happen I feel like maybe for the last time <laughs> So perhaps you can indicate that in the conversation as well. So Capricorn, that is your reading for the first two weeks of September. I hope you found it uh, helpful and useful and uh, possibly somewhat empowering considering the nature of it. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the mid-month readings. Um, again, if you would like to reach out to book a personal reading, just email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You'll find that email address by clicking on the description link below. In the meantime, I wish you much joy and blessings. Stay safe out there, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.